Hello everyone, um, so basically this is going to be another empties video um, and I think people are enjoying them so I was like I might as well carry them on. The first product I'm showing you is um, Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner and it's just by Simple. It's just in this green bottle. Personally, why I was attracted to this is because it was alcohol free and um, my skin um, can be quite sensitive at times so I don't really want anything that's like um, that strips it too much of its like natural oils to be honest I did like this product it did do a good job like it did help tighten my pores but um, it didn't like I wouldn't say it helped with like breakouts and the amount of spots I got but personally I think um, stuff like that on me is due to like hormones so I think it's quite hard for maybe products to stop that unless there's some miracle one, um, which I still haven't found. So if you know of any miracle ones, please tell me. Um, but overall, it did like a good didn't job. Strip my too many of my natural oils basically, and um, I probably would buy it again. It didn't particularly have a scent. No, it just smelled like a normal toner to be honest. Yeah, that was kind of a nice product for like everyday use. Next product is actually for the hair. Now I've dyed my hair red, but before I did that, I was using um, L'Oreal Paris Full Restore 5, oh, Full Restore 5 Pairing Shampoo. It was okay, like, I, it's meant for weak, limp and damaged hair and it's got these five things it's meant to do. Strengthen, um, help with the density, vitality, shine and silkiness of your hair. Um, I'd say it helped with the strength, but to be honest with the silkiness and the shine, I rely on things like conditioner to do that for my hair. I wouldn't say shampoos really have that much of a kind of difference they make within the terms of silkiness and shine. Just that's how I personally feel when I use hair care, like different products. Um, but this was okay and it did like um, get rid of <clears throat> like hairspray that I put in my fringe and the oils and when I go to the gym and I swear it did like get rid of all the dirt basically. It didn't strip my hair too much of its natural oils but at the same time I wouldn't say it's a miracle product but it did the job and it was okay. I probably would buy it again in future but at the moment I'd rather try something else that I really really like and can really feel a difference. The next thing I've got is actually a sample and it's um, an Eau de Twilight Alien perfume from um, Terry Mugler. I think that's how you say it. I'm terrible at names as you know. Um, I just got this, pardon me. I always loved the angel one she had and I was um, tempted to get the angel perfume just because I've run out of loads of perfumes. But then I got this sample and I really liked this and I know a lot of people have got angel. But then I think a lot of people have got alien too but I was just like no I definitely, I definitely have to get the alien. And um, when I was in duty free uh, earlier this month I got it because I was just like need a distinctive perfume. Like it's quite musky and you really like know. But at the same time, it's like still quite feminine. It's kind of got a rich, um, sensual, musky smell. I hope that makes sense. But um, yeah, probably more of a evening perfume than a daytime. But if you're kind of daring enough to wear it in the daytime, I say go for it. <laughs> right, my next product is um, Visibly Clear 2-in-1 Neutrogena um, this, like, Face wash mask. When I use this mask I can really feel like um, the in the ingredients in my face it almost feels like it's got menthol or something in it like it is opening my pores and I can feel that whether I use it as a wash or a mask but it's more intense if you use it as a mask because it's sitting on your face and you're allowing it to dry so you really kind of can feel it. It reminds me a little bit of the Clinique um, kind of I forgot what it's called it's like, it comes in the bottle and I think it's like the second step. But I almost called it pink, no, paint stripper. But um, it kind of reminds me of that really like intense feeling when you feel like it's doing something to your skin and it's working. And um, yeah, I like it for the fact of that. But I wouldn't say it particularly cleared up my skin. But it didn't cause me any breakouts anyway. And um, I'll definitely repurchase that. 
I liked it, but I'm not so sure it really helped with my spots, but that could just be like down to my own hormones. The next product is um, another sample, and this is Hygiamax Plus Active, and it's a hydration, oh, it's a hydration active moisture cream, and it's um, from Chanel. This is the sample I got. It comes out tinted blue a little bit, this does. And I only got like, how much did I get in here? Like five millilitres. Although my skin is combination, I, I would say this was particularly bad for it. I probably should have um, stuck with more of a, you know, like a moisturiser which absorbs a bit more into my skin. But I like, I tend to like moisturisers which sit there for a little while, then absorb. Then I kind of feel like my skin is being high like hydrated properly and it's not just kind of sinking straight in because I don't really like that and the fact that I have combination skin means you know I still get like little dry bits around my face occasionally um, but I still really liked it and because I don't think it is aimed at combination skin it was really hydrating if you have really oily oily skin I wouldn't particularly recommend this because it does leave a kind of like um, coating or it does leave a bit of a, like a coating um, on your face where it is like really hydrating but other than that if you've got dry skin um, I'd say go and try this out but I really like this product I actually am thinking of investing in this but I'm a bit scared that it might break me out at the same time so I'm thinking maybe that I should go and purchase this more in winter time when my skin is more likely to be on the drier side as opposed to now when it's the summer time and my last product is this Clinique take the day off makeup remover and it's for lids, lashes and lips. I got this um, actually for like Christmas which is ages ago but I've been using this and then I use um, a Garnier one but by far this is my favourite um, makeup remover that I've ever used. If you like wear a lot of makeup this is definitely a product you want to try. It is oil based and I do have to shake it up when I use it and you the, normally the two products actually separate so give it a bit of a shake and then I just put it on a cotton pad and use it all over my face. It's particularly good on um, my eyes especially when I go out for a night out with my friends and I'm wearing like you know the full works eyebrows. Um, I also use Liquid Last by MAC which is a liquid eyeliner which stays on you know it's meant to last and stay on for a long time it's really difficult to get off but this gets it off and you don't even have to scrub at your eyes, it will literally just remove it so easily. Also use it when I have like full side lashes as well and it, help, it helps get them off. It is quite pricey but I would definitely say if you're a person who likes the kind of full works of makeup um, or you just want to get everything off and then try this but be warned that it does have a bit of a kind of oily, it does leave a bit of an oily coating on your face once you've ran it over the areas of which your makeup's been on. But um, if you don't mind that, then I definitely say try this. I normally wash my face after that, after I've taken my makeup off with a cotton pad anyway, so that oil kind of film that I feel over my face eventually like goes away. But other than that, like I really love that Clinique take the day off. I got the name right and I definitely recommend That's it. That's all I've all I've got for my empties, um, just got to collect more. Changed my hair, it is kind of really red now. I just got a bit bored of, um, I say my last hair colour, I only had it for about a month. I dyed it dark red, but that didn't last very long. So basically, I just went to Sally's and um, I got a Magic Contrast. I mixed it with like cream, cream or creme peroxide and I just got my sister to actually do it for me. And now I love it and it's just something different and a bit fun and yeah. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and um, I'll see you in my, my next video guys. Bye.